What is up guys? Welcome back to, to another epic video right right here on Awesome Kids TV YouTube channel. We are back yet again for some more Billcraft action. Previously, we have created this wishing waterfall that I dubbed Wishing Falls, which I thought was really clever. It was a part of the, uh, it was part of Star Lily's Unicorn Forest. As you can see down there, it looks very awesome down there. <laughs> we jumped off of the waterfall in one of our previous videos. And honestly, I think it looked pretty cool. Before that, I added the crystal trees and vines and stuff onto the uh, little uh, tea room over here. The mush tea room. Ha, <laughs> get it? Mushroom. Anyway, in this video, we are going to be, you guessed it, building another realm. A realm, icy, icy cold freezing and of course made of snow i am talking about frosty shire that is the next realm on our list of realms for the cathead magic wars uh tour list yeah that's right tour list uh, we are going to make the experience an awesome tour and we'll include some awesome bosses such as the uh, newer ones and the return of the older original ones. But without any further ado, we shall get started building the, the realm itself, the Frosty Shire. And we shall begin with the path. I just got started digging up the pathway. It's going to be uh, pretty big, but not too big, but big enough for everyone to enjoy, of course. There will be a frozen lake in the middle of this uh, realm that is made of ice, not just any ice, but packed ice. We're not going to use regular because it melts over time, so that's why we decided not to use any regular old ice. So, yeah, that is the basic idea. We are going to fill this entire realm with ice and snow, and we are going to add a couple of trees covered in snow and everything. And we will have a... Mountains, mountain tower style uh, castle somewhere in the build, and hopefully it'll look amazing. It is one of the newer builds from Halloween 2022. I've been looking forward to this since Halloween season 2021, since Halloween. Uh, dunty dunty fun, and now. One year later, and don't I make it in 2022? <coughs> October of that year, to be exact. There will be a new Halloween special uh, that'll come uh, with this whole entire series of realms and stuff. There will be that. Anyway, let's stop talking about the Halloween special of the from the year 2022. I'm gonna make and focus on this. Jeepers, peepers, we have been digging for such a long time and we're far away from Star Lily's Yukon Forest already. This Halloween build was directly inspired by Mickey Mouse Funhouse, the uh, 50 foot Pluto episode. It is, it is very similar to the Face of Ferb episode, Attack of the 50 Foot Sister. Where, uh, Cand where Face of Fur make a growth elixir and Candace uses it 
to her advantage to be to become the next flawless girl but unfortunately she just keeps on growing and growing and growing and growing and growing until she realizes that face of Ferb have done it uh, to her and she's so like if they did this they can undo it and it gets even worse Yeah, that's the whole entire premise of the episode. They try to get Candace back to her normal size. Whenever you think of that episode in a TV show, you think, Oh, uh, giant monster being created by a growth formula or something like that, or perhaps a growth potion splashed onto the creature or something like that yeah that's not what you normally think you would normally think oh giant monster giant monster invading society I right, we're almost away from the unicorn forest we made previously We just need to dig down a couple more feet. We are a couple more feet away, a couple more blocks away, sorry. And we are done. Are we further away from Star Lily Star Lily's Yukorn Forest? Yes, yes we are. Okay, now we shall add in the ice and snow. We shall start with the snow and then continue with the ice. We will put a frozen lake in the middle. Don't worry, we will do that. We will put a frozen lake or river in the bill. Don't worry about that. We're just going to keep on building. I am trying to be as talkative as I can throughout this entire build. But, yeah, I end up being very quiet, and I can't really talk too much. We will start with the frozen- I decided to start with the frozen, uh, river. I decided to start with that. So, to make the frozen, uh, river, I start with the snow. And then go to the ice. This is taking too long. Let's have a little chat about YouTuber experiences. <laughs> if you guys have lived in Ser in Ser in Serbia as a kid, uh, like a uh, Rebecca Param has, then. Well, congratulations! You can definitely relate to that girl. Uh, no, really. When Rebecca Parham and... I'm not gonna uh, say that part. Ah, the backyard. A stable of suburban kids everywhere. A minefield of anthills and lost hot wheels. A peaceful refuge where the greatest childhood memories are made. Now we shall get on with the stories, the backyard stories. When Rebecca Parham and Rachel Parham were younger, and we're playing with Jocko in their backyard one time. Jocko needed to release the hounds. Quote unquote. <laughs> but instead of going in the house and doing his business like a normal person, he freaking popped a squat in the middle of the yard and made fertilizer out of it, and then his freaking dog ate it. 
Now you might be thinking, oh, that's animal cruelty. That's disgusting. Yeah, I totally agree. That's freaking disgusting having your dog eat your own feces, your human waste. Ugh, bleh. That is gross. If we have a dog and we uh, potty train it outside like every day of our lives, I would not allow it to eat our species waste because that is just disgusting and because it's animal cruelty. Anyway, <laughs> another, another time uh, when Rebecca and Rachel Perham were younger, Jocko found a lighter in their backyard and he said he wanted to make a campfire. And Rachel and Rebecca uh, said, yeah, sure, sounds fun. And while they were and while they were gathering things to incinerate in their town foolery off a of fire, Jocko literally wanted to act all tough on them, so he pointed the lighter at Rebecca and her sister Rachel and freaking lit it. Yes, flippin' lit it. And it just so happened at the time their mother uh, was working, was uh, washing the dishes, doing the dishes in the kitchen, and saw, saw that through the kitchen window, and she ran out screaming at them, and unsurprisingly, Jacko had to go home. <laughs> yeah, he had to go home. And Rebecca Perham at the time was glad that she caught them too. They weren't even going to mess around at that point. They were going to light a freaking fire to the hell storms off the bridges, if you know what I mean. Actually, uh, now that Rebecca Parabas thought about it over the years, her father did call her a firebug at one point because she attended to like fire and she still kind of tends to like fire to this day. Hey, it's warm and pretty and gets rid of evidence. Every day you could possibly want a boyfriend if you're a girl. By the way, girls react opposite uh, than boys do. It's a scientific fact. Boys and girls react opposite of each other. Speaking of that, you guys thought that uh, opening skit was in the video we watched a while back was a witty farce, right? No, it actually happened. Rebecca and her sister Rachel were playing baseball with, in their backyard with the neighborhood kids. Big surprise there. Rebecca Parham was uh, pitching. I mean, yeah. Rebecca Parham was pitching. Rachel Parham was batting. She tossed her the ball. She hit it. It veered off into the right and crashed and smashed right through their parents' bedroom window. And everyone in that backyard, except Rachel, hit the deck. And their parents came racing outside to see Re Ra Ra to see Rachel Parham with bat in hand, completely flustered. Yeah, she was pretty terrified. Uh, their their both of their parents were mad. Uh, but their mom told her to go and get her piggy bank because she was going to pay for it. But their dad jumped in and said, hey, that's not fair. It was an accident. Every kid gets to break only one window with a baseball. Yeah, that was their father for you. And apparently he never forgot what it was like to be a child. And so, obviously, he wanted them to have the most fulfilling childhood, including all of the classic mistakes, like breaking a window with a baseball. Oh no, the poor tree! Don't worry, Mr. Spruce Tree, I gotcha. Anyway, before the world, before the world got the internet, Rebecca Parham uh, spent some time in their backyard 
taking an old fence post, laying it over the side of their raised garden beds, launching an uh, jumping on the other end of it, launching an array of different materials into the air. Rocks, grass, pebbles, sticks, anything. Yeah, that was what they did before we had the freaking internet kids. That was probably in the late 70s or early 80s. Yeah, that was in the late 80s. The internet came out in 1989, uh, by the way. Anyway, one day, Rebecca Parham really wanted to launch a ball off of her makeshift catapult, but there was a problem, and that problem was the ball would roll off automatically before she could launch it. Physics. Who freaking knew about that? I certainly knew about that. In order to complete her little experiment, she needed an assistant, so she called upon her little brother, David, by shouting, Oh, David! <laughs> her little brother, David, was about free at the time and was very susceptible to suggestions, which worked out perfectly for her, not so perfectly for him. She told him on the count of three that that he was going to put the ball on the fence on the fence post before she could lo before it rolled off so that she could quickly launch it. Simple enough, wouldn't you say? But when Rebecca Parham counted to three to commence their little experiment, David Parham did something a little off her scene. He leaned down on the fence post to very carefully place the ball. And by the time she looked over and saw him doing that, it was too late. And her entire weight came down and the fence post smacked him right in the face. And David's whole entire face swelled up and there was a puncture wound that may have been an inch away from his eyeball. And he still has a scar there to this day as an adult. And Rebecca Parham as a result got into got into a lot of trouble and her parent and their parents yelled at her that she could have blinded him, but it wasn't but it was actually an accident and David wasn't supposed to put his freaking face all over the flipping catapult but Rebecca felt real flipping bad so super bad all the way up to adulthood years later when people brought up this story but she animated it once and showed it to a million people so it holds no more power behind her at all Animation, her antidepressant. Now, are antidepressant now are antidepressants really unhealthy? I think so, because I don't think you're yours because I don't think you should do them more often, and because they are really unhealthy for you. But who flipping cares? No, really, who cares? This area is looking very cold. I'll just replace all of that with snow. There we go. We got we got all this to work on. There we go. Now that we got all this taken care of, it is now time to move on to the Shire house itself. We're gonna use uh, packed ice to build this. You don't have to use packed ice. You can use whatever materials you want to use. Depending on what you like and what you hate. Or don't like, actually. Hate is actually a very strong word. I dislike spiders. I don't like spiders. Every time I see one, I freak out. But anyway, 
we got ourselves a shire to build and I ain't going to let this project fall apart into pieces. After all of this, I will put in the surrounding ice and snow and add more details, add more detailing, like uh, more plants and decorations in the shire and stuff like that and we'll see how that goes we'll see how that looks now we build the floor the floor is yet again made entirely out of ice don't even ask why i just thought it was a good idea and it was a ice idea <laughs> Get it? Ice? Because, you know, ice and snow? Ice powers? Elsa? Get it? Yeah, not a lot of people like Frozen. Especially Terry Berry. A.K.A. Stevie T. He does like Frozen, but I don't care. Anyway, let's add the doors on this place. You can place doors on ice, uh, by the way, if you want to know. What, you didn't know that? Now you know that. <laughs> now we shall build the rest out of regular ice. Yes, regular ice. I can tell the difference. They look the same, but they act different. I'll freaking share that sometime, but for now we gotta build the ice... Shire, the icy cold Shire. It will have a protective block layer protecting it once we... Actually, we will make a frozen fireplace. To make the frozen fireplace... No, 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 no. We're gonna make it a furnace activated fireplace. Oh, dang it. Let me grab a furnace. Furnace, furnace, ah, furnace, there you go. Put a bunch of furnaces up like that. Get the ice around it in ice. There you go, there's our little fireplace. Now we add the roof, the most important part. There we go. Now we just build the rest of Now we just built the rest of the roof layers and we should be done. Sorry, I am just not really the chatty, chitter chatty guy I am today. There we go. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. We now need to add the stairs. I'm using quartz. You don't have to use quartz. You can use whatever material that you would like to use. I am using quartz stairs because they look Christmassy when hot. There we go. with Frosty Shire. Thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you in the next video. Now I got a lot more work to do. 
if you know what I mean. Bye-bye!